It's our view that a soft Brexit would be in Wales' best interests, but the Labour government have recently voted with Tories and the UKIP in the Assembly for a hard Brexit approach. And we are saying that we need to be a member of the single market to protect the 200,000 jobs that are in Wales and reliant upon membership of that single market. And so there does need to be a, an alternative voice put in the National Assembly because otherwise the opposition will just come from the right and that will be no good for Welsh people let, either. Let me come on to what you've just said with the single market in a moment. Wales voted to leave the European Union uh, and everybody, the, the, the top people in the Remain campaign and the Leave campaign made it clear that leaving the European Union meant leaving the single market in terms of membership of the single market. So why are you defying the will of the Welsh people? Well, I don't recall the question about the single market being on the ballot paper. I don't recall mm. the question about hard or soft Brexit or even immigration. No, being no, but the people on, the on both paper. sides, the what leaders on both sides made it clear that a European vote to Union. leave was a vote to leave the single market. Are you disputing that? Well, as I understood it, the vote was to leave the European Union, and we will yeah. leave the European Union. Well, all right, they'll let the me run you this. Is how and what arrangements well, are let in place me run afterwards? you this clip. Let me run you this clip then of leaders of both Remain and Leave and what they said about the single market uh, and about leaving the EU. Let's just listen to what they said. The British public would be voting if we leave would be to leave the EU and leave the single market. Should we world. come out the single market? I, I think that that is almost certainly would be the case, yes. Do you want us to stay inside the single market, yes or no? No, we should be outside the single market. I had uh, Michael Gove in that chair and I said, after Brexit, will we be in the European single market, yes or no? And he said, no. And he was right. So we won't be in the He's European right. single Michael, market. Yeah, absolutely. We'd be out of the single market. That's the reality. Britain would be quitting. The quitting the single market. So there we have it. George Osborne, David Cameron, Andrea Lebson, Boris Johnson, Michael Gove on both sides of the argument. If you vote to leave, you vote to leave the single market. What bit don't you understand about that? Um, Andrew, I'm sorry, but those are Tories, and the Tories have never won a mandate to speak on behalf of people in Wales, no, and they can say what they like. It doesn't matter um, what part of they are. They said is, if we voted uh, to leave, we voted to leave the no, single no, 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 market. No. Are you denying that? Well, they can say what they like. That wasn't on the ballot paper. The Tories said uh, an awful lot of things during that referendum campaign that I would want to distance myself from. But, I think that leadership of the Remain campaign but, by Tories was what lost us that you, referendum. Are you trying to so say... I don't want to associate myself with any of those no, I understand that, but that's not the issue. Are you trying to tell me that the Welsh people didn't know what they were voting for when they voted to leave? that they didn't know that they were also voting to leave the single market when the leaders of the Remain campaign and the leaders of the Leave campaign were explicit in saying you vote to leave the EU, you vote to leave the single market. And the Welsh people understood that. Well, look, the Leave campaign were telling people that £350 million a week would be available to spend on the NHS. That was a lie as well. But people voted for a whole raft of different reasons. My contention now is that there are 200,000 jobs in Wales reliant upon us being a member of the single market. I intend to advocate the best interests of Wales, and that is what we think is in the best interests of Wales at this point in time. And I'm not going to stop advocating that.